All right, all right. Here we go. Tip for Talk Tuesday. Tuesday night, that is. All right, folks. Last Tuesday, of course, there was a hurricane in Florida. That's why I didn't make a video. Tonight's video, just to switch it up, got a few birds here to display for you. On my left, it's your right. These two are from my blacks. They're blue checkers. And please excuse what the, uh, the way they look. They are going through a heavy molt. They're late hatches, of course. Super late in the year. But no less, still going through the molt. The three over here are all siblings. All three of these. Uh, one of the nest mates was killed by a snake. Fully grown, I may add. Um, snake got in the loft and in the breeding cages and killed the nest mate to one of these silvers. <clears throat> got one blue checker, one silver, one uh, looks like a, that looks like an Andalusian and a silver. Anyway, I, uh, making this video based on feedback. Now, when we all show our birds and we display our birds, only we know what we have. But when you sell that bird, or you display the bird in a show, you never know what the feedback's going to be like unless the folks tell you. And for that reason, I'm talking about feedback today. Uh, it was a coincidence. I received a phone call a few days ago. A gentleman had purchased one of my black tipplers from this family right here, these two blue checkers. And the blue checker, um, excuse me. The blue checker, these two blue checkers, the sibling, were tested, tested in the sky. I never asked for the feedback. The gentleman so happened to call me back and ask if I had any more available. I sold them this black pigeon uh, a while ago, about two months ago, three months ago. And in flying the bird, he finally got the, the results that he wanted. After flying the bird for a few uh, times out, he ended up getting a, surprisingly for him, nicely done, eight hours and 15 minutes with one of my youngsters that I sold him. And that's with this family right here, two blue checkers. The other three, I don't know. I have not tested them. I don't know if, you know, what kind of time they'll do. Um, but what I'm getting at is when you have guys out there buying your birds, borrowing your birds, gifting your birds, when you do all that and you don't get any feedback, how will you ever know if you're making any progress in your loft? So for example, for me, I like flying. I always say to my videos, if you don't like it, tell me why you don't like them. If you like them, tell me why you like them. In this case, someone was finally, finally listening. Now I've had other guys tell me they like the way the birds fly. They fly long, they fly high, and I appreciate that. But no one's been able to give me times. Now not everyone's a time flyer, like this gentleman. This gentleman's a time flyer. So hats off to him, thank you for the feedback. So much appreciated because at least I know what I'm working with as far as the, the, um, the, the parents, the ones that I'm breeding out of, out of to give these birds. So right now on my flying team, I have three from these guys right here. So let me just show you here. We hold these guys. If you look, those those two right there are brothers and sisters. Those two right there are the ones that I'm flying right now in my loft. I have three on my team. I have two blacks and a blue checker. 
and those other ones that are doing fabulous right now for that gentleman. Now these right here, I have not tested. I am going to test these in the future because this is a new, a new uh, reading program that I just started. And I'm getting these psychedelic colors. So I'll, te I'll test these later on. But I have two more babies coming up. I'm gonna try to put them up in the air before the year is out. Um, guys out there that are showing birds in the future from the Southern Chapter ATU, good luck with that. I encourage the, the heavy hitters, the big guys, the Navarros, the Roman, uh, guys like that here that should be giving feedback to the younger guys and take it as a challenge. Uh, take it as a uh, motivator. What you guys are doing is great. But if you're keeping the information to yourself, what good is it? Give the feedback to the uh, guys showing the birds. And... Um, the guys will probably appreciate it. Uh, when you're doing the, the shows, one thing, when you're flying, is another. Uh, all my viewers out there know how I am passionate about flying these things and trying to do the best I can with what I have. Uh, but you know, I'm not the first one. I won't be the first one to try to blow somebody's candle out just to make mine brighter. I won't do that. Uh, I will suggest for those out there that never give a compliment, that never give in a good feedback, you know, uh, change the game. Change the ways you think. Because just because you give someone good feedback doesn't mean that it makes you a lesser of a person or your loft, the lesser of a loft, or having less of a bird. I think it makes you a stand-up person if you give the feedback. Because it shows that you care. You care about the same thing that that person is trying to obtain. Perfection. Quality. So, for this tip of Talk Tuesday tonight, I would say to you, look, look inside your loft. Uh, if you have somebody's bird in your loft, give them feedback, whether it's good or bad. Give them the feedback they need to know. If you don't uh, give the feedback, then how will they ever know if they're doing the right thing? And I know, let's, let's admit this. Everybody wants to be a competitor. Everybody loves to compete. Everybody wants to win. So if I gave you feedback, I'm flying, and you are now doing well, and you beat me in flying, and that just makes me a person that needs to work harder now to up my game to try to beat you. Same thing with the uh, showing. If you're showing a bird and you have nice quality birds, and you give someone else tips on showing them how, um, how to show really nice birds and what to look for, doesn't make you a lesser person. Doesn't make you, and let's just say, if you, even if you lost that show that's coming, uh, down the road and the guy that you taught wins that's a good thing that person listened and he was able to apply all the things that he learned he or she learned from your techniques it makes you a better person because you taught somebody else how to win well again feedback I appreciate the gentleman that called me and told me that the line that I was working with this year we're able to do 8 hours and 15 minutes on his end. So, hats off to him. Like always, folks, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a good night. Peace.